is most likely going to be Burma's first democratically elected president. I would like to propose Utin Joha from the NLD party. Tinjo was Aung San Suu Kyi's longtime chauffeur and now senior executive in her charity foundation. He's one of her closest confidants, a childhood friend who regularly visited her during her years of house arrest. Aung San Suu Kyi cannot stand as president herself because her children are British, not Burmese citizens. That bars her from holding office under the terms of a military-drafted constitution. Tinjo is the lower house's candidate. The upper house and the military, which has 25% of parliamentary seats, will each put forward their nominee. The joint parliament then votes, the winner becomes president and the two others become vice presidents. Tin Jo is expected to become president since the National League for Democracy, the NLD party, won a large parliamentary majority in November elections. As party leader, Aung San Suu Kyi has said she would be, quote, above the president, suggesting he'll effectively be her proxy. The three-way vote will take place in the next few days. Burma's next president will be sworn in on April the 1st.